Let's see. of Date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The World Eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Right? Smack that spark out before it starts. You don't have to be so harsh. It's such a little spark. Take it out now while it's small. Hm. There's always another spark. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there's two nearby. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. 
loi tolu dum kotu von ko kum von kono regardless of who you choose it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever teetering on the brink of war The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Koibe. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. In Jagni's case, letting the World Eaters bring down the Tree of Life is part of their plan. They believe a cleansing is the only way the world can be saved. You'll be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's a bridge. Just get over it.
between the eyes. Swoon. They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tri war began. fast like a snake. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Says the Sifu is popular these days as the tribe grows stronger by the day. He suggests you let the Sifu do the talking when you meet. He prefers it that way. Zata is the moy dot loho. Karyesne statse. Paro. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves, to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons. The boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. 
Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the Tree of Life should be an easy decision. He expected you'd join them. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. The Jagni's destiny is to do what others are too afraid to do to vanquish past and future disillusions of unity and take control of our destiny. Uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. Being defeated is a choice they won't make. They've talked about that, but words do not frighten those who feel no fear. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. Your Muma taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting, nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost.
The tree's going to bleed death from its roots if you keep taking her for granted. Says goodbye to you. Fire Cackles about how you and the Jagni tribe are going to strip every nest home clean together. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. It's Jagni's fort. <laughs> Says you'll get a special price and a wrap up on the double. <laughs> Hopes you're selling too. They're always looking to replenish their store. The vendor says you can browse his goods any time during opening hours. The doors here are always open for a potential customer. Maybe get rid of some extra things? Put that to good use.
Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurled. to dive back in. That's an improvement.
Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Moomba's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too.
He is another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. His only interest when creating is that what he comes up with is actually useful. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left lying around on the ground. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He appreciates those able to deliver a sharp remark. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. She wants you to understand that whatever path you choose in life, you must stay true to yourself. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He's not scared of anything, least of all you. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. 
choice, Manura. Mintilanu Moana. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? Can't see. She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. Kalino? The most important thing is that you're okay. Amun. It's time to focus on your training now. Masa mal kalino? She suggests that you forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them more. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him, too, before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Moomer, too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's gathered so much over the years and it's hard to remember everything. Nothing's wrong with his memory. It's just short. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. Coffee. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this.
Amu. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. That's all she's ever asked of you. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. That's why you should be sure to thank him for it. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Nothing could stop you from, from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She loves how brave you are. But she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present.
must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Let's see. Let's see.
looks snug. Should protect your legs. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. It was harder than expected to take down the Fluff Hulk. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. <laughs> 